AW Fight Forever is finally here. It feels like we've been waiting forever to finally fight as our favorite AEW wrestlers, with the game originally being announced in November 2020. So was Fight Forever worth the wait? Let's find out. But before we get to Fight Forever, a quick message from me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. This helps me so much in cracking that YouTube algorithm. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. But if you really like my content, please consider becoming a Patreon or a channel member for access to exclusive content and live streams. I also have an OnlyFans if it's more your thing. YouTube and wrestling doesn't pay the bills. So this kind of support helps me so much and will bring me closer to fulfilling my goals for this year. Now, on to Fight Forever. First things first, I am not a gamer, but I do always play the latest wrestling games and I have since the 2000s, so I do have experience. But what I am is an AEW expert and a fan since day one. So is this game good for an AEW fan? Let's first talk about the roster of wrestlers. Now, of course, people can be added and things can change, but let me tell you, it does feel really out of date. When you go to select a wrestler, the first person you see, for example, is Abaddon, who feels like they're from a different era of AEW. Chris Jericho is the champion pandemic era Jericho. Everything about him looks out of date, even his build, and especially his neckerchief. So hopefully he gets a downloadable update or something. There's other things like Wardlow's aligned with MJF. Ricky is the FTW champion. Oh, and Cody Rhodes is there, uh, but I'm not complaining about that. So there are definitely a lot of things like I assume they'll make changes to the roster, but this really, I think, fe feels like it comes from how long the game has been in production. I'm guessing they made Jericho sometime in like 2020 and just didn't change him. Another out of date thing, and this is one that just particularly irked me is that William Regal is there giving you tips when you start wrestling. And I just don't get how anyone could have thought that William Regal was going to stick a lot around long enough in AEW to include him in the video game. Like, that's absolutely wild to me. Um, And I just don't know why like that specific bit could have he couldn't have been replaced with Taz or someone because it's so jarring. But watching AEW now, I see like Hook, Danny Garcia, Willow, Jimmy Heater, and more people that I'd love to play as. And they just weren't there in the version of the game that I have. I know for sure that FTR are a download are downloadable um coming soon, but to me, it's like really strange for them not to be there as one of the tag teams either. Um, And for example, as far as like the factions, like the inner circle is still a faction in this game. But on positive, CM Punk is there. And no matter what, it is so cool to be able to play a video game with AW wrestlers, to get to be Kenny Omega, to get to be Jungle Boy, to get to be Darby Allen, to get to be Jade Cargill or the Young Bucks. Like this is awesome. And if you've been watching AW for as long as I have, um, it just it it feels really great to see them there as video game characters and be able to have these matches like it it is super cool so my only negative is that yeah it does feel a bit out of date but i think those are things that they can improve on once the game is released um hopefully but if you're a more recent fan, you might be wondering about some of the stuff that you see. So I play this most of the characters and it's fun seeing the different moves they can do. Some like Kenny and Jericho have tons of moves and others like Jay Cargill have way less. But you know, you can build in their move sets. Another thing I'd like them to add more of is like different gear variations because some of the gear is very out of date too. I know you can buy like another jacket for Britt Baker, but I'd like to see, you know, everyone have a lot of, of gear variations. So on to the match play. In my version meaning that more could be added. Uh, there was singles matches, tag, multi-man, ladder, casino battle royal, and exploding barbed wire. First thing, the refereeing is true to AW, like anything goes, and Aubrey takes ages to get down to count, and I just find that really frustrating in matches. But it's super fun learning everyone's moves, and there's really cool treats like Malachi Black blows Black Mist, and MJF doing cheating things to get out of a bind. The ladder match is just as usual for any ladder match, video game ladder match that you've ever played. The Casino Battle Royal I did not like. I hated how the computer would pick someone 
I'd already picked like at one point I was doing one and there were two Orange Cassidy's in there and one of them was me and it was just an absolute nightmare to figure out what was going on. The Exploding Barbed Wire match is really cool. It is the coolest match type I've ever seen in a wrestling video game. And when stuff explodes, your player gets all marked and, and scarred from it. And visually, it just looks awesome. You don't have that long in the ring before the whole ring explodes. I think it's two minutes, but it looked really, really cool. The only thing is like the novelty of it wore off pretty soon. Um, and I think that's kind of just a general problem. I don't think there's anything that innovative as far as in ring that makes this stand out much from other wrestling games I've played. I do think the controls were very easy to pick up. The matches were fast. There was not lots of selling in it, but like it's just loads of fun and the moves do seem very realistic. But I did find even playing on the hardest setting and even being someone that is definitely not a video game expert that it is a little too easy um, and too repetitive. It wasn't long before I was just winning every match. You choose different arenas like Dynamite. They have all the pay-per-views, Double or Nothing, um, Full Gear, etc. But I think they all kind of look like very samey. So I did the career mode as Malachi Black. It starts with you in the gym missing a call from Tony Khan. Um, and then you call him back and you get booked in the casino battle royal at double or nothing. So he like offers you a job in AEW. They play like this AEW history video all about the company. And then you go to the AEW press conference where you're introduced. I did then look and see if this was the same. If you're an OG, like I tried it with Jericho and it is actually just the same thing, even though, you know, you see him in the AEW history video, they, they don't change it up. Um, and give uh, like a character like him a different storyline. So other than wrestling matches in career mode, you go to the gym, you sightsee, you eat, you do interviews, press conferences. Um, this stuff does just get like really boring. Every time I went to the gym, somehow I injured myself. Um, and then you have to go to the hospital. The eating, it just, you go to a different Every city you're in, you just eat a different thing from that city. So like Chicago, you get deep dish pizza. Um, you can go sight, you go sightseeing and another wrestler will turn up. Some of the, like the dialogue in it is like bad video game dialogue, but some of it's really funny. I know, for example, Benno played career mode as CM Punk and he just had a funny interaction with the Bucks where they told him, oh, you're trying to book matches. What do you think you are an EVP? Um, so that's really funny but then you know the same thing happened when I was Malachi Black there's then these BTE games that you can play these games are just wild and totally random they range from things like AW trivia to this bizarre one where you have a partner and you're a baseball and you get batted it's really hard to explain, but it was totally bizarre. And then there's other ones where you're like collecting chips that are falling, stuff like that. They were unique um, and quite frustrating as well. There is one where you had to find Orange Cassidy in pictures that I thought was really frustrating because no matter how much I put my cursor on Orange Cassidy, it would tell me I was wrong and Kenny Omega would just win every time. Aside from doing the Dynamites and pay-per-views in career mode, you can wrestle on Rampage and Dark to build yourself up. Um, I did choose to wrestle Rampage once and I got to wrestle CM Punk in his first match in AEW. I really enjoyed being Malachi in it and I picked him because I had liked his moveset the most when I was just you know messing around playing different wrestlers it is fun but it is like so repetitive some of it is just you're just clicking that x button to like move on and the other thing is I completed it really quickly I couldn't believe it when they told me it was over um it's basically I think a one year pay-per-view cycle but for me I just thought it ended so quickly and unexpectedly I was like oh is that it? I also played as Jade Cargill to see what it was like as a woman. I, I haven't finished my Jade career mode yet. Um, there's slight variations. It does start off with um, the same call with Tony Khan in the gym where he does call you a girl. Um, and then you start in a four-way match instead of in the Casino Battle Royal. And your second match is for the vacant AW Women's Championship. When it comes to creating your own wrestler, they definitely need to add some stuff to that. There was very few outfits to choose from you could not do much as far as customizations go um at all 
When you create your own arena, you start with a template so you can pick like Dynamite, Dark, one of the pay-per-views. There is, of course, also the option to play online. I didn't do that. There are the mini games where there's the chip gather game, which is like the game I told you about on the Being the Elite, as well as the AW quiz game. And then this weird game called Penta Says, where you just have to copy Penta's dance moves. And then there's also the training mode. All in all, I did have loads of fun playing Fight Forever. I like the kind of arcade style that they're going for. I thought the having matches was really fun and learning the wrestlers different moves I thought it all looked pretty realistic too my only negative is really like the out of date things that I said before I hope they add a ton of new stuff a ton of new wrestlers a ton of new like ways um to change up the wrestlers they have to make them more reflect how we see them on AEW now and I, that's kind of my only like down point I was watch I was playing it and I was kind of nostalgic for Daily's Place era pandemic AW. <laughs> I think an AW fan though will absolutely love it. Um I just do think that the novelty wears off pretty quickly and that's why they definitely keep, have to keep adding more stuff. And I do just wish it was a little bit more challenging. So I'm gonna create a character. Sorry about my weird position, but my TV is like just above me. We start with this lady here. Go to original and let's change something. I'm gonna change the name to be Stephanie Chase. Okay, R2 done, okay. Um, then we go back, display name. That's just one word. So make that Stephanie. Announce name. I've gone through these. Okay, so they have Chase, but they don't have Stephanie, which is absolutely wild. It's so annoying. Annoying. And then I thought I could be Miss Dynamite. And they don't have Miss, but they have Mrs. Okay, so what are we trying to say there? That's what I wonder. They have like a lot of random names. Like I said, they do have Meltzer in there, which is like so funny. So I'm ending up just calling myself, I don't know. They have Lady. I don't want to call myself Lady Chase. Like that sounds Queen. Queen Chase. I can't believe that Tony hasn't put himself as a character in the game. Like I, that is tremendous restraint for him. He's got to be coming as a downloadable character. Do your social media handle. Mine is at Stephanie M. Chase, but you all should know that. Crowd reaction. I absolutely want to be booed. I am a total heel in life. Birthday. My birthday is November 20th. Mark that down and send me all the gifts. Hometown. Country. Mine is Ireland. Oh, and wow, they actually have Belfast. That's amazing. Okay. Weapon of choice. Barbed wire bat for me. Pose. Yeah, I think I'd pose like that. Middle weight hybrid. Uh, I think I'd like to be an aerial wrestler. Okay, face type. Not many to choose from here. I think the default one. Oh, I kind of like number three. I think I'll keep the default one. She looks kind of angry. Eyes. Um, not many options. I'm just going to keep the default. I can't actually find my eye color either. So I'm going to go for this green, but it's not even close eyebrows i'm on this skinny brow trend so oh i like oh, i like those brows i like these these are evil brows hair the options are really not good there's no bangs going on like full out bangs which is what i would want i'm gonna pick this one and then it's kind of hard to realize but you then have to go back here and like change the color <sighs> khaki hair i don't know what my hair color is i'm gonna go for that i don't really think I mean, this is not looking like me at all. Body type. I have like really big legs, so I'm going to pick body type. I think that, I think I'll go for that. Body settings. Oh my God, I'm five foot one and a half. And that's actually, you can't get down that low. I don't know what, what I'm doing with this. I'm just picking anything. We'll not go into my uh, weight and body type. Okay, ring attire. Ring attire. So first you pick your brazier. And there is just like not much going on here. Like there's this the headwear. I don't want any of that. Um, Don't really want like, well, maybe I want sunglasses. Oh, this cannot be used with your current attire. Okay. Upper body. Let me see if they'll let me do... My, like gloves like I wear yeah they're kind of not like the gloves that I wear but they are fingerless gloves so I'll take it I'm on both hands 
I want an accessory. Not any of these. Oh, maybe a necklace. That's cute. I'll have a necklace. Scars. Do they have anything resembling my arm scar? Uh, no. I would have definitely put it on if they had anything. Where is the scar here? Oh, it's just on her tit. No to the scars. Lower body. Wait, did I? Oh, I didn't do the brassiere. Okay, limited options here. I like this one the best because you can customize the colors and I'm going to be fucking boring and just make it black. All right, lower body, bottoms. I wish they had scarves. I wish they had scarves. I know people don't wrestle in a scarf, but I wish they had scarves. Oh, oh, I'm going for those. Knees. Oh, wonder what this would look if I made it black. Okay, footwear. I like these the best. Full body, bodysuit. Is that like a Playboy bunny outfit and a maid's outfit and a bear? Okay, none of these are for me. Body paint. Tattoos. Do they have a candy corn hand tattoo? No. See, my tattoos aren't in any of these places. I like this Pamela Anderson one though, but I'm not going to put out my character since I don't uh, have that. Okay, no tattoos. Now let's go to uh, entrance attire. Top. So I ain't coming out a plain t-shirt and I ain't coming out a work shirt either. So these are a lot of like, there's wrestling t-shirts there. Stripy weird shirts. These are all all pretty ugly. Not even I would come out in an Ireland flag t-shirt. So no jacket. Please God have a leather jacket. Oh yes. See, that's what I wear. That's what I wear. Headwear. I don't want any of that. Glasses. I use the visor. I don't like the sunglasses. They're too term terminator. Accessories. I should get some earrings. Earrings are always nice. I don't see any point in me doing the streetwear because it's all so boring. The tops. So I'm just going to do leather jacket. Yes. A black brassiere. Just the same as I had before. Let me customize the color. Lower body. So, see, these are my street clothes. So why is a skirt not an option? Please tell me why I can't wear a skirt or a dress on the street. I'm going to pick some leather pants. God, those shoes are ugly. Fruitwear. God, those shoes. My God. I'm going to move back to these boots. Full body. Don't want any of that. That is what I look like. Chase. But those were my thoughts on AEW Fight Forever from a non-gamer, but a very big aw fan so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you again next time bye